OpenAI has delivered one of the most requested features on ChatGPT. This is a feature that is to branch a chat, branch a conversation from at any given point. This has been a feature that has been available on Google AI Studio for quite a while, but not on a lot of consumer facing applications. So I'm going to show you how you can use this particular feature. And we are also going to see how it is compared with Google AI Studio. First of all, I'm going to give you an example conversation, then we can see a live demo. So I've got a chat where I started the conversation with tell me a small story. And then I said, can you put Elon Musk in it? So it rewrote the short story with Elon Musk in it. Can you make him look like a warrior? Then again, it made him look like a warrior. And then finally, I asked ChatGPT, can you make it shorter and make him look like a mafia leader? So the short story is for the shorter and I've made him look like a mafia leader, which is I think kind of his obsession at this particular point. So now what I did is I went to this particular point here and then I said, branch the chat. I click the three uh, button, uh, the menu, three dot menu and said branch into a new chat. And the moment I do this, I got this new chat and then it says branch from this short story, whatever the name it has given for the particular conversation. And it has just branched it from there. And then it has given me this particular point. So now whenever I chat, so you can see here, it's from, can you make him look like a warrior, but not the last part where I asked it to make him look like a mafia leader. So a slight difference um, when you go see the Google AI Studio implementation, I can go here and then say like, I can pick a model response and then ask her to do the same thing. So I can go here, pick it and then say branch from here. And the moment I branch from here, first of all, it uh, doesn't open a new window here. You can see that in the same conversation, I'm, uh, I'm in a different place. So you can go see the original conversation there, but I'm, I'm like in the same window where I was there, I've been shifted to the new conversation, which is branched from that particular point. So I'm going to start a new conversation altogether. New, I'm going to close this tab. And I've got two tabs at, at, at this particular point. One is Google AI Studio. And uh, let's start with new here as well. And the second one is I'm going to select Gemini 2.5 flash because I don't want to spend a lot of time. And I've got chat GPT, GPT-5. So it's going to select whatever model it wants to select. So this is a, a very important use case particularly when you are trying to do role playing or things that you are trying to get a perspective from ChatGPT, but you don't want to have the baggage of the existing context, but at the same time, you don't want to repeat everything. So at some point you want to just branch out and then start a new conversation. So let us, uh, let us just do a simple role play. So this is the prompt. This is a simple role play between us president, Mr. Trump and Mr. Musk, who is the CEO of Tesla and a friend of Mr. Trump. The, you have to role play a simple convo between them about electric cars. Okay, so I'm sending it. As you can see here, it is doing a role play and um, we have everything. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, can you replace Musk here with Sam Altman? So I'm going to stop this conversation and start a new conversation. Mr. Trump is going to be there, but Mr. Altman is going to come. So. Now I've got a different conversation where we have got Trump, Altman and uh, Trump Altman. Now, instead of car cars, um, can we um, have this about AI power and uh, power gen? So now I've got a totally different topic. Now what I can do is I can go to a particular point. For example, let's say now I want this entire conversation should be about something else. Now, instead of having the baggage here, I can just go back here and let's say what Elon Musk, I can go back here and then branch from here. So at this particular point, I can branch into new chat. And now I'm going to have a new chat where my initial conversation is this. And this is what it is. I've been branched into a new conversation where it was only about Elon Musk and I can do different thing. Maybe I can give Larry Ellison or Sergey Brin or whatever I want. So this is how it works and it is extremely useful if you start using it extensively. And the same thing with Google AI Studio. Um, if you want to just do it, you can just have a very simple conversation. Can you tell me a joke and uh, send it? And once you do that, it is going to tell you a joke. Um, in this case, it's a thinking model. Why don't scientists trust Autumn uh, Adams because they make up everything. And then um, can you make a joke about Tesla? not the coil, the car. Okay, send it. And um, it's going to think and yeah, it gave. So now all I can do is I can go back here and then say I want to branch the, from this. 
branch from here and I would go into a new um, place. So it's extremely helpful when you're doing financial modeling with LLMs and you're trying to use LLMs for recommendation engine. Basically, you try to avoid filling the context with whatever you had. And it's quite evident here if you actually see here with the context window that it provides, you can uh, evidently see that this is a model that doesn't fill in your context window and the context window gets resetted with whatever you are branching from. So overall, I think it's a great feature. A lot of people have been asking, but I think not a lot of people have been speaking about it. So just go ahead and then use it. The three dot, click branch in a new chat and let me know how you have been using or if you have been wanting this particular feature. I know a lot of people who wanted this feature because they had to do a lot of copy paste. So here is your opportunity to use branch in new chat. See you in another video. Happy prompting.